Welcome to Butchel Park Baptist Church. This is Pastor Erica on BPBC 89.9 FM. We are grateful that you have chosen to gather with us this Christmas Eve. You can find us on Facebook, YouTube, and online at bpbaptist.org. We want to make sure everyone stays safe and healthy this holiday season. So here's Pastor Sarah, who will be providing a few instructions for our drive-in worship service this evening. Merry Christmas, everyone. This is Pastor Sarah with a few instructions that will help you prepare for worship. Once you have parked, please turn off your headlights. If you are having trouble or need to ask a question, please turn on your flashers and someone will come and assist you. Please stay in your car at all times. If you do need assistance, please wear a mask when someone comes to your window. Communion is not required, but it is available for those who would like to partake at the end of the service. Or you might choose to use your own representations of the bread and cup when you get home. Thank you, Pastor Sarah. More instructions will come when we get closer to the service. But for now, as you wait for our Christmas service to begin, enjoy this pre-service programming. Here we have a lovely piece played by Matt Hightower, a fabulous tuba player, performing Good Christians All Rejoice and Sing. Park Music Director Matthew Butterfield. Let's all sing together these wonderful carols.
From our 2016 Many Moods of Christmas, here is our choir performing Do You Hear What I Hear? such a vibrant and talented music staff at Butchell Park Baptist Church. Matt, Shelley, Luann, along with our ministers, creatively work together to provide incredible worship experiences for everyone. Here's a special treat from a string quartet. Sit back and enjoy Away in a Manger. Welcome to Butchell Park Baptist Church. This is Pastor Erica on BPBC 89.9 FM. 
We are grateful that you have chosen to gather with us this Christmas Eve. You can find us on Facebook, YouTube, and online at bpbaptist.org. We want to make sure everyone stays safe and healthy this holiday season. So here's Pastor Sarah, who will be providing a few instructions for our drive-in worship service this evening. Merry Christmas, everyone. This is Pastor Sarah with a few instructions that will help you prepare for worship. Once you have parked, please turn off your headlights. If you are having trouble or need to ask a question, please turn on your flashers and someone will come and assist you. Please stay in your car at all times. If you do need assistance, please wear a mask when someone comes to your window. Communion is not required, but it is available for those who would like to partake at the end of the service. Or you might choose to use your own representations of the bread and cup when you get home. Special word of thanks to Susan and Tom Rowleader for our outdoor decorations this evening. Thank you, Susan and Tom, for all your hard work on making sure that our Christmas is full of joy. Thank you also to John Condren for building these wonderful Advent candles that are lit up for us tonight. These carols are dedicated to all those who bring us joy in our world. Sing along, everyone. Joy to the world. this holiday season. Here is Ave Maria, performed on bassoon.
so grateful for Butchel Park Baptist Church and our wonderful church members who continue to serve faithfully, not only inside our church, but to our surrounding communities. Did you know that our garden ministry has harvested over 22,000 pounds of fruits and vegetables this year? We donate to the elderly inside and outside of our church, as well as many organizations around town. Thank you specifically to Suzanne Shepherd, Leonard Buckner and the, all those who work in the garden and delivering the harvest. I'm so grateful for what God continues to do through our mission and ministries at Butchel Park. I think we should all go tell it on the mountain. Let's sing this great carol together. much to be grateful for here at Butchel Park. Our missions team has delivered over a hundred shoeboxes to senior citizens. Thank you to those who have participated in giving to our seniors in our community. Gratitude sparks joy in our lives. I invite you to reflect on what you are grateful for today. Welcome to Butchel Park Baptist Church. This is Pastor Erica on BPBC 89.9 FM. We are grateful that you have chosen to gather with us this Christmas Eve. You can find us on Facebook, YouTube, and online at bpbaptist.org. We want to make sure everyone stays safe and healthy this holiday season. So here's Pastor Sarah, who will be providing a few instructions for our drive-in worship service this evening. Merry Christmas, everyone. This is Pastor Sarah with a few instructions that will help you prepare for worship. Once you have parked, please turn off your headlights. If you are having trouble or need to ask a question, please turn on your flashers and someone will come and assist you. Please stay in your car at all times. If you do need assistance, please wear a mask when someone comes to your window. Communion is not required, but it is available for those who would like to partake at the end of the service. Or you might choose to use your own representations of the bread and cup when you get home. Well, folks, we are drawing closer to our worship hour. Let's keep the carols coming. Here's my favorite Christmas carol, O Come, O Come,
the service to begin, here is a non-traditional arrangement of Carol of the Bells by the String Quartet. begin soon. Remember these instructions. Once you have parked, please turn off your headlights. If you are having trouble or need to ask a question, please turn on your flashers and someone will come and assist you. Please stay in your car at all times. If you do need assistance, please wear a mask when someone comes to your window. Thanks for joining us this Christmas Eve on Beautiful Park 89.9 FM. You can find us on Facebook, YouTube, and online at bpbaptist.org. Here is one last piece of music before our worship service begins. Joy to the World by Brass Quintet. <laughs> friends, neighbors, beloved children of God. This is Pastor Erica on Butchel Park Baptist 89.9. We are so glad that you have joined us for our annual Christmas Eve service this evening. Grace and peace to you all in the name of Emmanuel, the Christ child born to us. This is Pastor Sarah with a few reminders for you. Please turn off your headlights. Turn on your flashers if you need assistance or you would like to make a donation. Please stay in your car at all times and please wear a mask when someone comes to your window. Tonight we journey towards the Christ child by means of hope, peace, joy, and love. We will conclude in our tradition of partaking communion together and singing Silent Night. Now, let us begin worship with a call to worship from Sharon Kalka and the Narcomi family. 
followed by a devotional on hope from John Brown. Heavenly angels spoke to earthly shepherds, and eternity entered time in the child of Bethlehem. Through the telling of the Christmas story, let our temporal lives be caught up in the eternal in that same child, that we might join shepherds and all the heavenly host in praising the coming of Jesus Christ, our Savior. And now let us sing with the angels of heaven, filled with the hope of God. peace this Christmas Eve. Here is a prayer of peace by Paul Clossing and a brief devotional by Charlotte Barito.
Light of life, you came in flesh, born into human pain and joy, and gave us power to be your children. Grant us faith, O Christ, to see your presence among us, so that all of creation may sing new songs of gladness and walk in the way of peace. Peace on earth, goodwill to all people. Lift your voices in praise, singing, It Came Upon the Midnight Clear. season, a difficult and even depressing season that has diminished our joy at times. But this Christmas Eve, hear a praise from Mary, the mother of Jesus, and a short reminder of joy from Barbara Todd. Thank you. 
Mary praised God, saying, I will greatly rejoice in the Lord. My whole being shall exult in my God, for he has clothed me with the garments of salvation. Let us sing together now, Joy to the Lord. Love has come in the flesh. God is love, and love is for all people. Here is a word of love from the Adams family and Earl Foskett. May our ears be open and our hearts be ready to receive the gift of love embodied in the Word made flesh. Reflect on God's love in your life as you listen to this beautiful performance of O Holy Night, sung by Carla Ventris. Oh, holy night, the stars are brightly shining. i 
Christmas story read by Erica Crosby. In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world. This was the first census that took place while, while Quirinius was governor of Syria, and everyone went to their own town to register. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house of David and the line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the child to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger because there was no guest room available for them. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Suddenly a great company of the heavenly host appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace to those on whom his favor rests. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God of glory, your splendor shines from a manger in Bethlehem, where the light of the world is humbly born into the darkness of human night. Open our eyes to Christ's presence in the shadows of our world, so that we, like him, may become beacons of your justice and defenders of all for whom there is no room. With hearts full of wonder, let us unite our spirits around the manger and sing together that timeless Christmas hymn, Away in a Manger. perhaps with little to no surprise, for it does come every year right at the same time. And yet this year, we 
experience a deep level of anticipation and exaltation at the birth of the Christ child. What a extraordinary, for lack of a better word, year. And I'm so glad that Christmas has finally arrived. But tonight, we come to kneel with shepherds before the King of Kings. We are witnesses to God's breathtaking force in the world, ripping into the cosmos of time and space. Scottish poet Alexander Smith says, Christmas is a day that holds all time together. Christmas is a place where for just one moment, time stands still. Memories of family gatherings, laughter of joy spreading, merriment of gladness celebrating are all locked in time locked away in our hearts forever. Even Scrooge, after all his humbugs and greedy behavior, says in A Christmas Carol, I will honor Christmas in my heart and try to keep it all the year. For Christmas must be more than just one day. If it weren't, we would have let it died a long time ago. Christmas must be a state of mind and a way of life that ought to be embraced year-round. I find wisdom in the words of the comedian Bob Hope. My idea of Christmas, whether old-fashioned or modern, is very simple. Loving others. Come to think of it, why do we have to wait for Christmas to do that? Hmm. Well, we don't have to wait. We can love one another through Christ Jesus every day of the year. Love at times creeps up on us like silly Christmas jingles and repetitive carols. Love sticks with us long after the holidays have ended. Christmas Day is a reminder of truth, truth that somehow gets tangled together with consumerism, greed, and envy throughout the year. The truth is like the bright star tree topping that gets wadded up in the strings of light It's somewhere in your basement. We can easily lose the truth of Christmas. Come Christmas Day, everything can even feel like a big disappointment. Like that scene in A Christmas Story, when the dogs break into the house on Christmas Day and destroy and devour everything in the kitchen. Ralphie cries out in disappointment. The heavenly aroma still hung in the house, but it was gone, all gone. No turkey, no turkey sandwiches, no turkey salad, no turkey gravy, turkey hash, turkey a la king, or gallons of turkey soup. Gone, all gone. But truth, unlike turkey, will never be consumed or taken away. Truth somehow always finds a way to enter into the world, often in the most mysterious ways of all. We remember every year the truth of Christ's birth. The songs and traditions that we practice invoke this deeply embedded knowing that Jesus has come long ago in the form of a helpless baby to save us all. We all find our way to the manger the rich, the poor, the old, the young, those all alone and those smothered with family memories, the Grinches and the Santas, the Scrooges and all those in between. Today is the day we all find truth. Wendell Berry writes this truth perfectly in a poem. Born by birth, here on the earth, our flesh to wear, our death to bear. Mm. The wait is over. Let us celebrate Emmanuel, the truth that God is with us. Tonight we celebrate God in Jesus Christ, God in a little child, God in human flesh. We embrace God's love for us and open our eyes to the light of Christ born into the world this night to guide us into a new way of life. At this time, we will celebrate together by partaking of communion. You may have received communion as you entered, or you may have brought your own representations of the bread and cup, or you may choose to wait and partake at home. But no matter how you choose to participate, remember in these moments, that we are united as one body of Christ. For on that night, when Jesus gathered with his friends, 
He took the bread, said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to them, saying, Take, eat, this is my body, which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. At this time, if you have a representation of the bread, you are invited to partake of it now. Take and eat. This is the body of Christ. After supper, he took the cup, gave thanks, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. At this time, if you have a representation of the cup, you are invited to partake of it now. Drink this, all of you. Let us now join together in praying as Christ taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. As we conclude our service, you are invited to carry the light of Christ with you. At this time, turn on your flashlights, your light on your phone, or even your battery-operated candle in your car. Tonight, let us shine God's light of love for all people to see. Let us go from this place, proclaiming that we have seen the glory of God, believing that there is a light that shines in the darkness, which the darkness shall not overcome. And may the love of the Creator, the joy of the Spirit, and the peace of the Christ child be with you this Christmas and evermore. Amen. Merry Christmas, and thank you for joining us tonight on Butchell Park Baptist 89.9 FM. We pray this Christmas Eve service was meaningful to you and your family. You can watch our full Christmas Eve service online via Facebook or YouTube. If you would like to make a donation to our ministry and missions here at Butchell Park, you can also give online at bpbaptist.org, or you can even donate tonight as you exit the parking lot. Attendants will have buckets available for you. Here are a few instructions as you exit our parking lot. 
please wait until you are directed to exit our parking lot. Make sure your headlights are turned back on. Please be mindful of our parking lot attendants as you exit. As you wait to leave, enjoy some more holiday music from our incredible music program at Butchell Park Baptist Church. We pray you have a safe holiday. Merry Christmas from your church family at Butchell Park Baptist Church.
Merry Christmas, and thank you for joining us tonight on Butchell Park Baptist 89.9 FM. We pray this Christmas Eve service was meaningful to you and your family. You can watch our full Christmas Eve service online via Facebook or YouTube. If you would like to make a donation to our ministry and missions here at Butchell Park, you can also give online at bpbaptist.org, or you can even donate tonight as you exit the parking lot. Attendants will have buckets available for you. Here are a few instructions as you exit our parking lot. Please wait until you are directed to exit our parking lot. Make sure your headlights are turned back on. Please be mindful of our parking lot attendants as you exit. As you wait to leave, enjoy some more holiday music from our incredible music program at Future Park Baptist Church. We pray you have a safe holiday. Merry Christmas from your church family at Butchell Park Baptist Church.
Merry Christmas, and thank you for joining us tonight on Butchell Park Baptist 89.9 FM. We pray this Christmas Eve service was meaningful to you and your family. You can watch our full Christmas Eve service online via Facebook or YouTube. If you would like to make a donation to our ministry and missions here at Butchell Park, you can also give online at bpbaptist.org, or you can even donate tonight as you exit the parking lot. Attendants will have buckets available for you. Here are a few instructions as you exit our parking lot. We pray you have a safe holiday. Merry Christmas from your church family at Butchell Park Baptist Church.